you just set up your J4 export to be query and this is time to create your first query. Let me show how to do it. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert and founder of Gailey Reports. On my website, you can find a lot of templates for marketing and sales and blog with a lot of articles about Google Sheets and Looker Studio for marketing. Subscribe to my blog on my website and get a free Looker Studio template. But let's come back to the query. So when you set up an expert, you have a new folder on your BigQuery. This is my test project, like pet project. So here I have several folders. One of them, my G4. I have two folders here, events and pseudo anonymous users. Uh, let's see, if normal tables has this kind of icon on BigQuery. This is a bit different icon and it's called sharded tables. What does it mean? It has events, it's the name of the table, and it has suffix. Suffix contains year, month, and date. So uh, this will be a table for 12th of May. We can change here uh, date and select another day. If we query this table, by default, uh, we will query, query uh, yesterday date. But if we want to change it and query all dates, we can do this. Uh, use asterisk and query everything from all big all G4 tables. But it is not a good idea because of several options, uh, several reasons, and uh, that is why actually Google store this data in this format. First of all, it is efficiency because you uh, you see it works uh, slow. Because when I select all folders, instead of creating one big table in uh, your BigQuery, Google Analytics create one table per each day. So you can see data easily and it is faster to work. You don't need to query all your historical data. My website is not big, so it is like not a big uh, stuff. But if you have a, a lot of traffic on your website, it will take a lot of time and your work will be slow. And second option that is really important, uh, this is a um, cost because you're, you pay only for tables that scan by BigQuery uh, and you can select only several days that you want to work with and you will pay less than if you query the whole data. So if you can, um, if you don't need to query all data, don't do it. So you save money and your BigQuery works faster. So if you want to do what I said I don't recommend to do, you can use asterisk to query everything from uh, all days. Um, but if you, I, let's, I already prepared some query. Uh, so how do I know, um, first of all, how does it work? We have select. Then we have like which fields do we have, like do all calculations what we need. Then we have from. So this is address of our query. Then we have conditions where, then we have group by. So it's kind of pivot in, in uh, Google Sheets. So pivot by and order like, like how to order our data. To see which fields do we have, uh, like I already clicked here, uh, we can see that uh, our events table has a lot of fields and you can open parameters and see key value mm, so even has some folders with parameters um, yes so first of all uh, easy the easiest query that we can start just to test uh, we can query uh, event name and we want to see uh, how many events happened last week or from May for example so for this I have this field event uh, event name, so I type it here. Uh, normally, it helps you. Uh, it helps you event. No, no suggestions. Okay, uh, event name. Then I count everything as event count. Um, go. 
I can draws from how to know your table address I click here copy ID I can change it here for example uh, by default it is yesterday I change it to asterisk uh, I removed suffix and change it to asterisk where and here I have table suffix this um, function helps us to select date from some data range I want to query data from 1st of May till yesterday uh, it's one of the options how can we do then I want to group by event name and order by event count so and you see it is 58 kilobytes and when I queried everything it was uh, 175 megabytes so uh, this query is much lighter and we don't need to spend more if we can do it faster then we click to run and we see our data and we see our result and see how many events and which events we had on our website um, you can also query other fields so we did event name um, we can split it by date for example so we can text it here event date and group by add here to group by event date and now we will have events by day oh for example i want to query all what do i have here mm, session start by day in this case i can in our clause where i can add and uh, event name equal session start so and i have date so in this case i will receive all session start events by day uh you see even date so my main date uh, uh, like i have some limits by date and i have only when uh, session start so you can play around with this try to query it as a different fields just to see how it works and not be don't be afraid of the query and use table suffix suffix it's really nice stuff and uh, if you have a big account it will save your time and money this was our first query from g4 uh, if you like it um, please subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video uh, subscribe to my blog i send um, emails not often just once per month and you can ask questions and comment again thank you for watching and see you soon